The star at the center of the solar system is our sun. It radiates light and heat, or solar energy, which makes it possible for life to exist on Earth. The sun has 109 times the diameter of our Earth, and more than 1.3 million planets the size of ours can fit inside it. The sun is very far away from us, at around 150 million kilometers, the sun's light reaches us through this distance in 8 minutes and 20 seconds. The sun is 5 billion years old, and in upcoming 5 billion years it will become a red giant. But let's suppose it happened now, what will be the changes? Can we survive the deadly situation? If the sun were to blow up somehow in a supernova event, we wouldn't know about it until it's too late, also because we wouldn't be able to hear the explosion. This is because the sound carried in space would be too faint. The explosion would be so powerful that planets such as Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars would be completely destroyed. But let's change the scenario. Suppose the sun's explosion isn't so powerful and neutrinos don't wipe us out. In that case, the shock waves produced from the explosion will most likely wipe out everything on the side of our planet facing the sun. The other side of Earth would experience a rapid rise in temperature and would most likely be covered in darkness. Since the sun will be gone, nothing will be powerful enough to keep our planet gravitationally bound in the solar system. This means that our planet will become rogue move out of the solar system and float in space. A week after the explosion, temperatures on Earth would drop to minus 18 degrees Celsius and continue to do so. In about a year, the temperatures on Earth might reach minus 73 degrees Celsius, at which point even the oceans would begin to freeze. As our planet continues to float into space, our atmosphere will begin to weaken and everything will be more exposed to cosmic radiation. In the most optimistic scenarios, perhaps only bacterial and multicellular life forms hidden in the hydrothermal vents will survive. Eventually, our planet might get caught up in another star's gravitational field. Life might reemerge if the star is similar to our sun and if the Earth assumes the same position in this new solar system over the course of millions of years. But, let's come back to reality now. We have 5 billion years now to happen that, by that time we may explore any Earth-like planet near us. Hope you liked the video. Do like and subscribe. Universe Science.